Good afternoon. Hello and welcome to InstaForex Economic News TV channel with us, Anna Kasatkin and Ekaterina Stichina. You are watching the weekly currency and commodity market review. So what currencies were in the highest demand among investors last week? On Friday, the US dollar surged to its performance highs against the basket of six major currencies. And what fueled the greenbacks rally? It was triggered by the monetary policy divergence between the US Federal Reserve and a number of other major central banks worldwide. A string of encouraging data from the US reinforced speculations that the Fed would raise its interest rates by the end of the year. On Friday, the US dollar index climbed to session highs around 97.59, the strongest level since March 10. The index closed at 97.41. The index closed at 97.41, adding 1% for the week. At the regular policy meeting on Thursday, the European Central Bank kept its interest rates unchanged at record lows in an attempt to boost inflation and the GDP growth. The bank also left the door open to further monetary stimulus in the coming months. The euro tumbled to immensely low of 1.0956 against the US dollar on Friday. The euro dollar pair ended the session around 1.0976, shedding 0.55% for the week following the reports of a mass shooting at a shopping mall in Munich. A slew of downbeat economic reports from the United Kingdom added to worries about the a country's economic prospects in the aftermath of the Brexit vote pushed the pound sterling sharply lower. The cable slipped by 0.92% to settle at 1.3110 levels in late trade on Friday. The British pound lost 0.62% against the US dollar for the week as investors are anticipating that the Bank of England will cut its benchmark rates and to introduce a further stimulus in August. The ongoing uncertainty that gripped financial markets after the UK's referendum on the European Union membership is keeping investors on the edge. Whereas the pound has lost nearly 12% of its value against the US dollar after the country decided to pull away from the European Union. That was all about exchange rate movements on Forex. Thank you for the currency pair overview, Ekaterina. You're welcome, Anne. And what news and tendencies were in focus on the commodity front last week. Well, was heading lower in a steady manner amid the current market oversupply fears. Gold prices also failed to sustain bullish momentum. Oil futures ended Friday's session near three-month lows after it was reported that the number of oil rigs in the U.S. once again posted a rise. On the London-based ICE Futures Europe exchange, Brent for September delivery was trading around $45.69 a barrel after a slump to daily lows at $45. $45.17, the weakest mark since May 11. For the week, Brent crude oil futures were down by $2.23, or 4.03 percent, amid expectations of increased exports from Libya and Iraq. WTI for settlement in September slid to $44.19 on the New York Mercantile Exchange, down by one and a quarter percent. For the week, the futures edged lower by $1.93, or 3.83 after a weekly report showed a surprise gain in U.S. gasoline inventories. On Friday, oil field services company Baker Hughes revealed that the number of drilling rigs in the U.S. advanced by 14 to a total of 371 units for the week. The rise in the country's drilling activity added to speculation that crude production may increase in the coming weeks, reigniting fears over excessive oil supply. Besides, gold prices did ending the week at three-week lows as renewed expectations for this year's interest rate hike by the Fed sent the US dollar higher, discouraging traders from safe haven buying. During late trading hours on the COMEX division of the New York Mercantile Exchange, gold futures for August delivery fell to $1,323.40 per troy ounce. A day earlier, gold prices reached the lowest level since June 29. For the week, gold was down by $4.40 or 0.26%. Anna, thank you for the commodity market review. You're welcome, Ekaterina. You have been watching the weekly currency and commodity market review on InstaForex TV. It was presented to you by Ekaterina Stichina and Anna Kasatkina. Have a great day. Goodbye. See you.